Hello everybody, uh, we're here right by Rene. This is day, the second report, today is the 28th of October. And we're here with Renee by her bedside. Uh, this is two days after the attack. And we uh, have some good news. Renee, as you can see, she's, she's listening. I believe that she's, she's not fully uh, awake, but she is. She, uh, I believe, can hear our voice. I believe uh, knows somewhat of what is going on. Uh, she hasn't opened her, her, her eyes yet. Uh, the, she's going to do a, another CAT scan in a few minutes, we'll know a bit more. But uh, hopefully she'll be able to remove the respirator today. And uh, hopefully that'll be a great improvement and a great advancement. Uh, there are a few things that we need to pray for. She apparently has an infection. Uh, and so we need to pray for, for a healing in that area. She apparently has, uh, she is very swollen, uh, so doctors say that's normal. All over her body she's very swollen, uh, and so we need to pray for that. But uh, the, the, the reports from the doctors obviously in this phase are conflicting. Some, some are positive, some are not so positive. Uh, but we know that even though we listen to, to, to the truth that the doctors say, there is one who is the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, his words uh, and his truth is above any truth we can hear here. So I want to thank you so much for all your prayers and all your Facebook messages. And I want to tell you that they do matter to us. And we are so honored to, to receive that from so many of you. And we wanted to encourage you to continue uh, lifting Renee up in prayer, to continue communicating on Facebook, to continue uh, communicating with email. And uh, we are certain, and in, in all your communications, you can be certain that Renee will be 100% healed, 100% uh, uh, well, that she will rise up and, and go back and minister in the city. And we love you all. Thank you so much.